welcome back students to one more session of your WOC that is your organic chemistry uh, topic so basically after a break I have again come back with one more important and interesting topic that is organic chemistry toolbox what actually is this let's see so let us write the heading first that is the topic which we are going to discuss is organic toolbox now why we have added this toolbox let's see so normally what actually is toolbox in your house you will like you know whatever hard weight material are there in the tool uh, in your house you try to take a toolbox you place it in a box and whichever material is most required just like your screwdriver the hammer whatever is required you place it in the first track next the later whatever is required the next preference it is placed in the next track and uh, like nails and all these uh, things spanner and everything you place it in different tracks based on your requirement so what are we doing in by, by placing like that whichever require whichever is required most you are trying to separate it rack wise whichever is less preferred is you kept, keep it in the last track in the same way in organic chemistry there are loads and loads of reactions every reaction has a mechanism every reaction has a concept in that so whenever you're learning organic chemistry try to use the concept of toolbox with that concept i try to separate the reactions of organic under uh, three different uh, categories or three different sets in the toolbox or three different layers in the toolbox what are they the first category would be the reactions which are involving carbon carbon bond formation carbon carbon bond formation so i'll be categorizing a lot of reactions which come under carbon carbon bond formation so let us assume the most important tool in the toolbox would be the hammer fist which i've taken it as a separate category right after that the next category in the organic toolbox would be carbon halogen that is i'm representing my x carbon halogen bond formation so whichever reaction involves or whichever means uh, halogen also and there are certain groups when we uh, do uh, the certain reactions introducing some other groups that also i'll be taking that i'll be showing that very soon bond formation next would be functional group interconversion functional group interconversion reactions functional group interconversion reactions so what i did is i tried to bifurcate different types of organic reactions under three different categories so whenever you are studying organic chemistry try to bifurcate them and study it would be very easy for you all because organic chemistry is such a subject where you know if you don't categorize or if you don't understand the mechanism of that you tend to forget so let us start off organic toolbox where reactions or different different reactions are bifurcated in three different categories so let us come back and see the first category what is that it is carbon carbon bond formation right so now we have come to the concept of organic toolbox then we bifurcated all the reactions into three categories done now let's come back and see the first category what is that it is carbon carbon bond formation reactions so i have listed a few reactions very important actually there are loads and loads of reactions why did i pick up these only because when you are studying means i have started giving you an idea of how to bifurcate what type of reactions come under this so you can take out your organic chemistry book based on these concept you can bifurcate under this category and keep it in front of the book one of the column right so the first type of reaction which comes under these is aldol condensation reaction next reaction which comes under this category is addition reactions like alkyne addition means you'll be adding an alkyne to that particular bond uh, this in after the product formation enolate addition would be one more which i'll be teaching you grignard addition where we'll be taking the grignard reagent that is mgbr r mgx or r mgbr will be will be taking and adding mgbr to that next would be wittig reaction yes next Next would be Friedel-Krupp's alkylation reaction. In addition, in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3, that also comes under carbon-carbon bond formation. Next category would be Diels-Alder reaction. That also will be doing. I'll explaining. I'll be explaining you the reaction and the mechanism as well. Next would be cyanide addition, where you'll be adding cyanide group around where there is a carbon-carbon bond formation. So why did I write this? As I told you, now I bifurcated. Now I think by this time you would have got a clear understanding. Addition reactions come under this category. category substitution come under this category condensation come under this category so start making the list and write all the reactions now let us come back and see the next category that is carbon x bond formation reactions
right now the next category that is a second category in the organic toolbox would be carbon x bond formation reactions so let's see what reactions have a categorized under this so here you have the ozonolysis reaction where o3 will be added across the bond where you'll be get, getting ozonoid we will see that reaction also grignard formation again i'll be adding rmgx to the reaction that also come under carbon x bond formation next would be electrophilic substitution reactions here all electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions what are the different aromatic substitution reactions like nitration sulfonation isn't it all those reactions acylation alkylation all those reactions will be specifically coming under carbon x bond formation reactions so nitration for example if we take what we do we use a nitrating mixture where you have no2 adding to the benzene ring we will see all those again very soon next would be halogen addition to Uh, uh, to an alkene means i'll be adding halogen that is x as i mentioned here to an alkene right next comes hydration of double bond what is hydration basically we are going to add water <coughs> around the double bond we, we have this reaction grade 12th also very important mechanism hydration of an alkene correct right so again these are the list of reactions which come under the second category of the organic toolbox keep noting students now what is left the last category would be functional group interconversion reactions we have lot of conversions which come under this isn't it one functional group is converted into one more one more functional group is nitrile suppose if i do the i, I use a reducing agent rcl if i take that if i use a reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride what will happen it will get converted to r nh2 like that amine so nitrile to amine like that there are a lot of interconversions of the functional group let us come back and list out what are they right so when it comes to the third category of the organic toolbox what is it it is basically in function group interconversions so i have taken few examples of the function groups where we'll be seeing the oxidation of alcohols into acids then we'll be also seeing the reduction process of acids we'll be seeing the esterification reaction where an ester is broken down into an acid and an alcohol we'll be seeing the conversion of acids to rcl acyl chlorides we'll be seeing the interconversion of nitro groups to amine right high volume we told you earlier also nitrile have converted into amine using the reducing agent then also we teaching the hydrogenation reactions so the, these are few examples of the third category that is functional group interconversion reactions now we have an idea right so when it comes to the first category that is carbon carbon bond formation reactions is one category where you can list out all the reactions of organic chemistry in that second category category would be carbon x bond formation reactions list out all the reactions third organic toolbox category would be the function group interconversion reactions i think students this is helpful for you all whenever you learn organic try to prepare this toolbox and keep it it's easy for you to remember now let's come back and learn or understand under each category each of the reaction 